WFNN. Headline News Update. Coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we have a slightly mixed bag out here. Actually, all the U.S. indices trading to the downside, with the exception being the transports. They're up 97.6 tenths of a percent. The Dow is flat. It's up 18 points. The S&P is not flat. Seven or eight tenths of a percent. To the downside, 36 points. The Nasdaq, anything but flat, down one and six tenths of a percent. 262 points. Russell's flat. It's down one point. Semis are off 34. Uh, you've got gold down seven bucks. Silver's off a nickel. Lights we crude is off 35 pennies. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We'll begin by take a look at the ES mini. What do we know about the ES mini? Well, it doesn't show it here, but yesterday was a test and rejection of its oscillator and change line. Uh, right now, price is pulling back into a, a prior swing point. That's the swing point out here from uh, the trading day of uh, January 10th. During the Trader's Edge show, we'll go take a look at the spies, the Qs, the IWM, the diamonds. Try to get a feel for the volume on this uh, retracement. You could get a, easily get a, a test rejection on the ES Mini of its uh, January 10th swing point. If it's on lighter volume, that says, okay, ready to head back higher. Now, I would say not ready to head back higher if we see a spot volatility that closes above its 50-day expense moving average. That's 1939. The high so far today, 1919. The Qs testing and rejecting the top of their daily profile. Price is obviously uh, testing that same swing point, that same swing point from January 10th. So it'll be interesting to see what the volume <coughs> looks like on the QQQ ETF. And, of course, we'll take a look at where it tests and rejection, what that would look like at day's end. Uh, right now, U.S. dollar index is closed below yesterday, both the bottom of its daily and its uh, weekly profiles. As far as where it's headed to, if you give me a moment, I'll just uh, switch over to one of my other charts. It's headed to its breakout level from its daily time frame. And that measures out to be $93.81. So very likely 93.81 is its target. Goldilocks getting back up yesterday and this morning to the top of that weekly profile, 1828.50. The actual high today, 1828.30. Missed it by that much. 20 pennies out there. So that's your significant resistance level. In the case of silver, its resistance level is up a bit higher, up in the 2345 area. Light sweet crude, uh, you know, pulled back just a tad. No big deal out here. Looks like it wants to target 8371. Natural gas, big breakout day yesterday. Looks like today is just a test of that breakout level. But as long as it stays above the uh, price of $4.36, it should continue higher. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. If you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.